Hey everybody, it's Amanda. Thanks so much for clicking on today's video. Today I want to share with you about how to grow in your walk with God in 2020. Do you want to study the Bible more in 2020? Do you want to get in tune with God? Do you want to hear his voice? Do you want to grow spiritually? If those are your goals and that's what you're interested in, then stay through to this video. I have a couple of tips for you guys. Let's jump right in. Okay, so if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. If you're not already a subscriber, we would love, love, love to have you. Comment below and let me know that you stopped by. I would truly appreciate to know that each and every one of you were here. So if you want to grow in your walk with God, I feel like the Lord told me the other day I was soaking in the tub, enjoying a quick moment of peaceful time. And I felt like God told me that every single person has people or influences in their life that pour into them in different seasons. So for every season, there can be a person or persons, men and women of God who really pour into you and feed you spiritually. That can be your pastor. It can be a mentor, brothers and sisters in Christ, definitely friends, family, um, you know, just different seasoned saints that really can uplift you and just encourage you in your walk with God and help you grow. And so sometimes I know that God gives me words and I share them on the channel and I love to grow alongside of you guys closer together. Um, feel free to email me at amanda at stayingkingdomminded.com um, if you're interested in talking on a more personal level. I have wonderful, wonderful ladies that I talk to on the channel frequently and I love building relationship with them. And if you're a man and you're interested in a spiritual mentor, a friend, a man of God speaking to your life, my husband's email is chris at stayingkingdomminded.com and he would love to be that for you if that's what you're looking for. But I said all that to say that God said to me, at times there has been women of the faith that have really, really encouraged me. Some that I talk to on a daily basis. Some I talk to kind of infrequently, but I know that they're there. They're kind of in my spiritual toolbox. I know they're praying for me and I pray for them. And those types of people in our lives are very, very important to have. But God reminded me that there is a way to grow in your faith. And in 2020, I continue, continuously want to be making sure that I am doing this. And that's to grow our faith. And how do we do that? Well, through hearing and hearing the word of God, right? That's biblical. That's what the Bible teaches us. So one way we do that, you know, you can play your audio Bible. Um, that's one way to just listen to the scriptures. Another way to do that is to listen to sermons, right? So there are three I'm going to give you a bonus, so I'll say four women of faith that really inspire me. I cannot even begin to tell you the countless times that I've watched their sermons on YouTube and they have spoken almost specifically to the circumstance I found myself in. So if you want to hear some very, very sound biblical women of God who are anointed and called to teach and preach and that will help you grow in 2020. If that's something you're interested in, I'm going to place some links in my description box below and I encourage you to check them out. I am telling you right now, there is nothing like that rhema word of God. What does that mean? It means a right now word of God. You needed to hear it in that moment to get you through that specific situation, right? We all need those types of words from the Lord. I don't know about you, but moreover, lately with all the children being a household of 10, I have needed those rhema word of God so much, and I appreciate the Lord. I was listening to one such woman of faith the other day, and she spoke specifically, and I know God had me click that sermon on that day for that particular time. So God uses people and sermons to speak into our lives. So listen to your audio Bible. Listen to these four women I'm going to link below. And those are just two quick ways I want to help you to grow in your walk with God in 2020. I don't know what I'm going to title this video. I have no idea. At this point, you already know what it's called. I hope that you've enjoyed the video. I hope that you will check out these four women and I will share with you their names in no particular order. Sister Vesta Mengen is someone who has encouraged me, inspired me and has made me want to be a better woman for the kingdom of God. Um, Sister Claudette Walker is the specific woman I was talking about the other day that just spoke to my situation right when I needed it. And I thank God for her. I pray one day she actually will stumble upon my YouTube channel and see this video and know how much she truly means to me. And I don't know her personally, but I pray one day I will because she is definitely, and all of these women are matriarchs of the faith. And if you're a gentleman, I encourage you to check out some of the patriarchs of our faith as well, because God has called and chosen and used so 
so many, so many willing vessels and they are worth you investing and listening to their sermons. They will breathe life into you. So we said Sister Vesta Bang and Sister Claudette Walker. And the last two are kind of like a dynamic duo. They're related and that's Sister Kim and Sister Joy Haney. Oh my goodness gracious, check them out. God has a waiting room. That's one of the sermons I listened to the other day. I think I'll link that one below. And then there was another one that Sister Kim Haney did. And I'm just telling you right now, you guys, you will love, love, love these sermons. So check them out. Allow God to speak to you through each one of these wonderful individuals. Allow God to use them to inspire you, to encourage you, and to build you up in your faith. This is going to be our year, ladies and gents. This is going to be the time for us to grow spiritually, to become more seasoned. And let's not be me focused in 2020, but let's be we focused in 2020. Let's think about others before ourselves. Let's be the hands and feet of Jesus. Let's pour into other people. So do you have a word for 2020? How about choosing a word? What word would you like to remind yourself of over and over this year? I've seen many cool words so far. People on social media are posting. What word are you choosing? And I saw unstoppable today and I thought, wow, that's a really good word. It's, it's motivating and encouraging and inspiring. And I like that unstoppable. But I think in 2020, Oh, there's so many good words. And I love words in general. My grandfather and I have that in common. He used to teach me new words all the time when I was growing up and we'd get together. He would educate me. And that was always so awesome because he's such an, an amazing and an educated and a kind, compassionate man. Um, so yeah, Grandpa, if you ever watch this, I appreciate you for pouring into me. But I think my word right now in this specific season, maybe not for the whole year, but is faith. I pray God would teach me to have faith and teach me how to grow faith and teach me how to use my faith. Hope this video encouraged you. Hope it helps you and inspires you to want to grow in 2020 closer to Jesus. Yep, that's all I got for today. I'm going to run inside. I just went to the store to buy some hangers with five additional people in the household. We need hangers, y'all. <laughs> oh my goodness, I don't think we'll ever have enough hangers to hang up all this laundry. All right, so I'm gonna jump off in here, off of here and run in and get to parenting the littles. Um, starting to make dinner. It is New Year's Eve. It is officially the last day of 2019. I cannot even believe that I'm saying this. So yeah, I better go get busy. Hashtag real mom life. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Comment below what your word of the year is. Comment below, let me know that you stopped by and consider subscribing if you haven't. And my last little plug is head over to stayingkingdomminded.com, check us out, and consider visiting our SKM store if you would like to pick up anything to wear to spread the news of our online ministry. We would really, really appreciate the support. God bless each and every one of you guys. Don't forget wherever you are and in all things, like sharing Jesus while you're sitting in your car waiting to go inside to stay kingdom minded and I will see you in the next video.